up, guys? Ha <laughs> I'm Nick Marino, and I'm gonna talk to you about Joker. I said I like it like that. Wow, dude, the Joker is crazy. So, honestly, it's insane. It's insane. Basically, you know, it's it's about, you know, the Joker. It's about the Joker from the Batman series. It's kind of like the first kind of time, you know, we ever see kind of like the, you know, the origin story of the Joker. It's really cool because it plays on, you know, not it's not just, the, you know, like the Joker. Uh, it, it's a movie about, you know, mental health issues. And that's so prevalent today. Arthur Fleck... Uh, basically has a mental health issue and he's going through counseling you know he's getting medication but you know he's not getting what he needs you know they people keep giving him what they think he needs but realistically he all he really wants is just love there's a girl that he likes and that's all he wants you know he he wants love he wants connection he wants to stop feeling so alone no one is really listening no one is really giving a shit and, you know, everywhere he turns, it's just, he keeps just getting knocked down. Um, and when you're surrounded by that constantly, and you go home and his living conditions are not good. I mean, he lives with his mom. Um, they, they live really poor. And, I mean, when you're under those conditions your whole life, it's just, it, everything just stacks and builds over time. To the point where he, he just goes fucking crazy. He just fucking goes borderline crazy. Um... And it's it's just interesting, you know, like that that's that's some real shit. It's more than just disturbing, it's like traumatizing. The movie's fucking traumatizing to watch. There were moments in the in the movie where I just felt cold. Like my heart sunk into my stomach and my body just felt so cold watching the movie. Um because this there's some scenes that are just like fuck bro, it's just like Damn. Daniel? The movie has like explicit messages in there about about you know creating riots, creating movements. Um, you know there was even like there in the news um, they shut down a theater and they told people not to wear masks to the theater um, because it's it's that fucking it's that fucking intense. It needs to go that dark. It needs to go that direction so that you can really get the message so that you can really feel okay. This is a real fucking thing, dude. People are not just evil for no reason. Right before Joker goes on on na like national TV, he tells Robert De Niro's character, "Hey, when you introduce me, call me by the Joker." And he's like, "Why call you by the Joker?" And he's like, "Because you called me that one time." And he's like, "What? I never even remember saying that." And that's so funny. Isn't that crazy how like that that's a that's a huge fucking thing. We feed those people. You know, it's it's that kid in middle school who got bullied over and over and over again and, and you know the kids who bullied him, they don't they don't fucking know. They don't care. They don't they don't know, but like they, they everyone just grows up fine, but it's that one guy. You're watching the Joker and you're seeing, okay, this is the Joker, but like this is also this is the guy who would shoot up your school. This is his origin story, you know? It's not just the Joker. And at the end of the day, at the core of it, it's just people who are live their whole life like that and it's like all they really want, all they really want is just love. All they really want is just to not feel so alone. It's just compassion. It's just having sincerity, authenticity. It's just listening to someone and, and just being there for someone. You know, it takes one person, it just takes one person just to be a better role model and step up. It's gonna make you think next time you see somebody who's, who's alone. You see somebody who's getting bullied. You see someone who's getting, who's hurt. And it's gonna make you think differently. So yeah, that's the movie. The Joker, go fucking see it. It'll fucking shake your insides and it'll make you fucking see things and you will feel <laughs> Anyways, have an amazing day wherever you are in the world. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace the fuck out. Do you think you're